Jeff, don't have a lot of time, unfortunately. here. just going to blast you a couple quick questions. Why haven't the markets reacted more to all that? Well, I think the markets are focused on this uh, this economic slowdown, which is now dependent upon a trade deal. So it's a different focus on what Trump is up against as opposed to the impeachment inquiry, which could end up in the status quo. We don't want a status quo outcome for trade. We need some kind of breakthrough. And the markets are hopeful that this phase one deal will get done, could lead to a phase two down the road. And if we get a phase one deal, do markets go up or is it already priced in? I think a lot of it's priced in, particularly to emerging market stocks, which have had a really nice rally here lately. But it's the question of, does it lead to something further? Do we actually see a rollback of existing tariffs uh, as we get some kind of deal, which we really haven't seen a deal between the U.S. and China at all? So if it could lead to something further, there's certainly more upside. But right now, we are rallied pretty well in risk assets, including the M, the M markets. Well, you are the chief global guy, Jeff. Are you surprised that we have seen this sort of rebound in many global markets like Japan and some even in Europe? They've done really well. I am not surprised only in that we've seen yield curve inversions in the past for the last 50 years mark a turn from uh, in leadership between uh, U.S. to international assets. And again, we've seen it happen this time. So I'm encouraged by what I'm seeing in September, October, now into November, that we've seen a definitive shift favoring international value and large cap equities. And that run to, that run to value will continue? I think it will. In fact, I think it's not just a one-year thing. It could be three, five, ten years. These are long-term shifts in trends marked by shifts in the yield curve. So I'm excited that we are at the beginning of what could be a very long-term return for international.